it's a, it's a time. Let me tell you. Yeah? The Western man. Non Muslim man, Christian, you name it. Every single one of them are polygamists. They practice polygamy in a different way. Islam says the following If a man is married and he wants to get married again, he is not allowed to have a side chick, a mistress, and a girlfriend who he can use for sexual intimacy and chuck her away like a piece of dog. No. Many Muslim men do, though. Islam says the following. That's correct, and I agree with you. Yeah, yeah. Are there Muslim men that do that? Yes. Is it haram? Yes, it's actually a major sin. And actually, there's a capital punishment if a man is married and has an affair outside marriage, which is capital punishment, which means... You're going to go kill him. Yes, exactly. Right. So, I think she would like that. I don't think anyone would like that, mate. I don't think anyone would like that. No, no, you know what? Because she'll kill him herself. Well, you're the one who's advocating for capital punishment, no, no, Ali Dawa. I, I, I advocate I, I don't know if you read the Old Testament, my madam. Oh, it's gone back to Christianity to now. Jesus is the God of the Old Testament. And he says, Why has he gone back to Christianity? You, you kill them. Thank you very much. So oh. read the Jesus of the Old Testament. Have you actually read the Bible? No, though? I have read the Bible. Oh, you Old have? Testament, are you right? Have you heard of so something called the New Testament? Yeah, uh, which says, yeah. I did not come to break. Oh, okay. So you have heard it. Oh, so, okay. So you. there is a so fulfillment now, of the law. So we're not bound to it anymore. Thank you. Because it's fulfilled in Jesus Christ. Thank you, Ali Dawa. Now, guys, I want to ask a question. Polygamy in Islam is there to deal with a reality, number one, and number a two, reality. to protect the right of a woman. It's a reality, How? guys. What did I say? How many men have side chicks, mistresses? And guess what? Donald Trump. Donald Trump is a serial monogamist. You know why? Because he knows if he gets a second wife, she's going to get upset. So he divorces her when she reaches her age, where she's not useful anymore, and he moves on to someone younger. Yes? And we know what he says about women. Why don't you talk Except, about the sex slaves in Islam? Finish, let me finish. Let me finish. There's no concept that exists. Okay, I'm going to show you from the Quran then. We're talking about polygamy. Yeah, so, having sex with sex again, slaves is polygamy. Uh, so, therefore, or polyamorousness. I'm asking a question. When Islam says, if you want to get married again, you go, what's the procedure? Look how Islam honors women. Number one, Islam does not honor father. women whatsoever. I have to speak to her father. Number one, why do, why do I have to speak to her father? Because if I have ill intentions, her father is there to spot it. Number two, dowry. What is the dowry for? It's for a woman's security to avoid deadbeat dads. Okay, so what does that mean? When you marry uh, a woman, she has a right to ask for gold, money, car. Can you she hurry can up, ask whatever you like. No, I know. Uh, I'm sorry. You, uh, it's a question that I can't hurry up. I'm I mean, explaining. Yeah? You can I... talk after. I'll listen to you. So, what does Islam do? Islam says, number one, speak to the dad. Number two, she has a dowry. Number three, you have to get married to her. Number four, you have to announce the marriage. Not secret. You have to announce it. Now, I'm asking you a question. How does that dishonor a woman when it's got protocols in place to avoid being the mistresses, side chicks and girlfriends? And you have to look after them, you have to pay for the bill, you have to pay for the shopping, and guess what? If her mind was £10,000, she keeps that, and she knows you cannot touch a single penny. So now, you tell me why polygamy is wrong in Islam. Okay. Very simple. That's a lot of waffle to basically say, yeah, there is poly uh, polyamorous relationships. Yeah, you can have multiple wives and women can't have multiple husbands. But we do it in a nice way, guys. It's a lovely way of doing it. We're very respectful. We're so respectful. But anyway, women, you, you don't have no choice because women are, are deficient in intellect, according to Islam, and deficient in religion. That is the horridness of Islam, ladies and gentlemen. Embrace a religion that teaches the equality of men and women. Now let's look, have a look. Let's look at Surah 23. Let's look at Ayah 5. It talks about how those who pay their tax arms, and this is a good thing, those who do not who avoid idle talk, and those who guard their chastity. Oh, that's good. But hang on a second. What is chastity in Islam? Well, it tells us in the very next verse. It says, except with their wives or their bondswomen in their possession. Who are the bondswomen? Well, it doesn't, we actually don't need to know from you because we can actually find out in the Quran. Quran.com tells us who the bondswomen are. There's a lovely little footnote. And it leads us to Surah 4, Ayah 3. When we go to Surah 4, Ayah 3, it again mentions bondswomen. And there is a footnote. And when I bring the footnote up, it says here, listen to this. It says, a bondswoman is a female slave that a man owned either through purchase or taking her captive in war. A common ancient practice in many parts of the world. Islam opened the door for ending slavery by making it an act of charity to free slaves. In other words, guys, if you want to do good deeds, take a slave and then free the slave. What a great religion that encourages you to take slaves so you can free them. That's amazing, guys. Imagine telling your, imagine telling the Uma to take slaves. Listen to the man. Oh, this is amazing. Notice he wants to get out of it. He doesn't want to talk about it. He wants to talk about Christianity now. Wait a second. This was about Islam. 
You, the sister had a question about Islam. Right. You came in to answer it. Tell All it of a sudden, you don't want to be. Jesus said, tell it to be quiet. Well, no, according to you, you can Jesus actually hit a woman in Islam. Are because there are surahs. Exactly. What does it say? Yeah, it says the in the Quran, the most holy of your religious scripture, that, that it was revealed from Allah that if you fear rebellion, if you fear rebellion, it's yeah. not even if the woman does anything, no. it's just if you think yes, she's going to do right. something. Yeah. What do I do? Wow. What do I do? Come on. The, the verse Come on. in particular says, says, first of all, you, have non you, are, you tell them they're wrong, okay. you talk with them, you're wrong. you say you're wrong, wrong, and then you forbid them from sleeping in I'm the same the bed, bed with you, yes. and then you smack them. I don't know, it says strike in Arabic. Okay. It says strike in Arabic. Okay. But don't worry, guys, yeah. in your lovely translations and your English translations, <laughs> it'll give lovely words for it yeah, instead. Sure, sure. But that's okay. Let's look at Tafsir Ibn Kathir. Let's look at your Tafsirs about what it means. Your Tafsirs make it clear. Women can be hit in Islam. And then when your Sharia comes, it says, just don't leave any bruises. Just don't hit them in the face. But you can hit women in Islam. This is the religion that you're following, guys. Wake up. Common sense. You know it's wrong. Follow Christianity. You spoke for about five minutes. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I start telling them the truth sorry, about sorry, your sorry. religion and you're cutting in. You can't deal with what I'm saying, guys. Basic stuff. Go on, defend the fact you can hit women in Islam according to the Quran. Go on, Ali. Thank you very much. Uh, the thing is very ironic, guys. I was talking oh, about ironic. polygamy. He went on a rat. He went to sex slaves that don't exist. go back to it. I actually just no, no, no. finished out and read that you have one bonds with him. He went to beating up. Look, let me put it very simply. You're the last person to ever talk about women's rights. Oh, am I? Let me tell you something. Wait, wait, coming from the guy who's actually saying that you can have multiple women. What a disgrace. Every five people that come to Islam, three are women. Why? Because you don't tell them about it. Because you hide it. One second. Because your religion is an esoteric religion. Why? They're in denial. They're like, how does this make sense? Because you don't tell them. The Muslim woman is oppressed, but the most grievous is not a woman. It's just an adult. Now, because you lie, Ali Dawa. Ali Dawa, you lie. Why are you bringing up Tony Blair? I'm talking about the Quran. He's talking about Tony Blair. What is he doing? Because you're chatting nonsense, Ali. Ali, they they know, Ali, I asked you no, a question. No, no, no. I can't even talk. talk about polyamorous relationships in the Quran. Talk, talk, talk about women being hurt in Islam. Two but things, Ali. Carry on talking. Oh, you know you Keep talking about Ali. Keep talking about Tony Blair. So, tell me about Tony Blair and how that's relevant to the Quran. I'm done. Answer the question, Ali. Answer the question, Ali. I'm trying to get an answer from you. So I told you a brick wall. Go on then. Tell me about the Quran. Tell me about the Quran. Number one guy. Or the Sunnah. Can you imagine? What did I talk about? I said men are polygamous by nature and women are hypergamous. <laughs> yeah, by women nature. don't ever cheat, guys. Trust me, Ali Dawa. <laughs> you are a foolish cheating. man. So so why is a woman Madam, choosing to have multiple Jesus men? Said you have to be quiet. Listen, stop talking about Quran. Listen, tell us about the Bible. Tell us about the Bible. Listen, 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 listen. Tell us about your religion. Listen, listen. Tell us about your religion. Let Ali speak. Let Ali speak. Ali speaking. Ali. It's very clear that there are women that cheat. Do you understand? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, okay. so if there are many women that cheat, you cannot say that by nature they don't want to cheat or they don't want to have multiple relationships. Evidently, they do. Man, you need a woman. You know that. We definitely know he needs a woman in his life. Yeah, that might be the missing puzzle here. The point is this, guys. Insults, yeah. guys. Islam it's a sign you've lost the Islam argument. Islam honors women like no other religion. Let me uh -huh. tell you why. Islam deals with reality. Most Western men, they cheat on their partners. Yes, oh, do they? Yes, do most they? of them. Yeah. There were yeah. studies shown that most of them, especially in the workplace. Do you know what Islam says? Islam says if a man is polygamous by nature, which is a reality, and he is going to go and do that, he cannot do that at the cost of using and abusing a woman. Islam Unless it's a sex slave, then you can. <laughs> As I just read the Quran. You see what I, I just read the Quran. You see what I you. He doesn't want me to talk about you the Quran, that? guys. You see that? Guys. No, it's what he no, hasn't no, no. addressed what I said. Do you know why I that? talked about the Quran. No, he is no, talking about some weird, like, oh, well, in Islam, we no, say no, that no, this. No, 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 I, this is a conversation about Islam. Let me know when you're finished. I'm done now. Thank you. Every as soon as you that. go off topic, do I'll keep you. Do you know why he's doing that? Because he looks in the crowd. Talk and about the Quran, Ali. Say, mm, that makes sense. And he's like, oh, I need to bring the sex later. I talked it. about the Quran, and he's like, yeah, it makes sense. I've listened to you. Can I talk? Talk about the Quran then. I'm talking about the Quran. No, you're talking about Tony Blair and like some weird, oh, in Islam we have this understanding that women are polyamorous by nature. No, show me the way that says listen, that in the Quran. Listen, listen, show me how it says that in the Quran. Let me talk. Quran. I repeat again. What Islam says is the following. Islam has four guidelines to protect the woman to be sexually, psychologically abused. How? Well, to be abused. Let me tell you how. 
if right. a man wants to get married again, he has these criteria in place to protect an honor woman. Number one. With sex slaves as well, which there are no criteria for the sex slaves. The what does that mean? If a man is interested in getting married again, he's not allowed to have side chicks, mistresses of girlfriends. You know but, why? And have sex slaves. He's ignoring that bit. Address that part, Ali Dawa. He won't entertain it. There you are. He's saying he's not even going to engage. I read his Quran and he won't engage with the Quran. That's why I'm being quiet. It's because you're not talking about the Quran, Ali Dawa. Ali Dawa, the Quran. Guys, can we all pray for Ali Dawa? He isn't understanding. Pray for you, friend. But you'll learn how to address an argument. Oh, you're spicy. Well, your book says you can hit them. Your book says you can hit them. Because it's an abhorrent religion. If a man wants to get married again, number one, he has to speak to her father. Is that the sex slave's father? Is that the sex slave's father? Because if he has ill intentions and just wants to use her for sex, her father is her guardian, number one. And he's meant to use his sex slaves for sex. Islam says she has a right for dowry. What's the dowry But not for? the sex Let slave. Let me tell you, the dowry is a protection because she can come and say, all right, you want to marry me? I want 3,000 pounds. How many sex slaves did Muhammad have? How many sex slaves did Muhammad have? Mary the Copt is one we know about. He slept with her in Aisha's bed. Number three. Come Number on, three, man. you have Address. to do a marriage. Number four, you have to announce it. Now notice something. Notice when he's not addressed anything I said. Literally kid, nothing. When he has a girlfriend, it's usually quiet. He doesn't want no one to know. You know why? Because he takes her out on some holidays, uses as he likes and he says, I'm bored of you. Bye bye, darling. Islam says no. This is a lot of waffle. A lot of waffle for not talking about the Quran. That's why he's bugging out. He ain't talking that's about the Quran. Why he's going crazy. My friend, Islam my friend, woman. Ali Dawa, you're a Muslim. You're supposed to talk about the Quran. Woman. But what does he do? And then we've got Madam here. Ali Dawa, bring up the, bring up the, uh, the Sunnah. Bring, 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 bring up the Quran. Bring up Hadith. Bring up the Sirah. Bring up the the Sharia. Warm it up. Bring it up. You watch your husband probably doing it here, darling. Yes. Hey guys, guys, this is modern Islam. Nothing to do with the Quran. It's just Ali Dawa's opinion. You know why? This is Ali Dawa's opinion. You know why God gives us Quran? Tell me about the Quran, Ali Dawa. Tell me about Ali Dawa. Tell me about the Sunnah. Tell me about Hadith, about the Sirah. Tell me about Sharia. Tell me about these things. And she on my wife. Tell me about Ibn Kathir. Tell me about Ibn Taymiyyah. And now, now, that's very clear. Now let's go to, go on, is he doing let's it? go to oh. the, the beating verse. Oh, he's doing it. He's actually going to the Quran. Step by step, step by step. Right, let's go, let's go, let's go. Great, let's go. I want to ask you guys a question. All right. How do you beat someone, and here's the permission. Okay. No pain. Right. No mark, and you can't hit the face. It says you can't hit the face and you can't leave bruises. Guys, guys, you can cause pain me. because can if someone, that was a Please tell go on, me, go on, go on, how do you beat someone? Yeah, this, this will show you how no ridiculous pain, this is. Go no mark, right, no right, hitting right, the face. Right, right. Let me show you, let me show you how this is. Wait, here we go, here we go. Show me, show me, show me. Apparently, show me, show me. Muhammad tells you show me, show me. to beat wives like this. That's what he's telling. Okay. Are you real? Did Are you for real? Uh, the, uh, his uh, companions uh, did. Uh, his companions uh, did. The father of Aisha and the father and the father of Hafsa hit. Actually, no, wait, yes, yes, he did. He, nice, hit, nice, he hit Aisha. He hit Aisha, and Aisha says that she caused him pain. Genaza. You want me to find it? There you want me to find it? There, there, you, go. Go. there you go. Now he's bringing there up the go. Sunnah. As you can see, the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him, when Aisha was being accused of adultery, can you imagine, guys, if, if there was rumor going around in the community where he's been told that one's wife has committed adultery, a lot of us men will lose it. The prophet, look at what the prophet I've got some about. lovely hadith here. Look at that. I know what some... talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, no, it's not just that. one, it's many. The prophet, peace be upon you, know what he did? Do you want to read them out? He came to, read to his out? wife and he said, if you have done this, what is forgiven? Yes, ask for forgiveness. He likes one hadith. Guys, he doesn't like all the other stuff. <laughs> if there was anyone that was to say, yeah, for yeah. example, Islam it tells you to be your wife, it would have been what? In an instance of, even in, in this country, we have called passion, crime of passion. When you come and find your wife in bed with someone else. The Prophet, peace be upon him, is being rumors are going that Aisha and Anha, his wife, has committed adultery, which is a lie. Did he go and beat her? Did he shout at her? Did he scream at her? No. You know what he said to her? If you have done this, ask for forgiveness. And if you haven't, God will clear your name. Which man on earth would do that? Yes. Which man on earth would your, your wife? Can you imagine? So, what, so what is 7.1? Madam, Jesus said, woman has to be quiet. Woman's proof of innocence. Your book says that I let don't the man care talk. what you say. Let if a woman talk. who turns out to be let pregnant says, I was compelled to, to, to have sexual intercourse, she's yeah. not to be and she said, should be given the hadar of punishment. Except there is a reason. Why don't you listen? Oh my gosh, this is terrible. 
can tell you exactly the In situation there. But if she comes looking Let for us, it's not the event. Or she comes leading. So if you come, if you're raped, you, you are don't have any proof. Allowed. So as you can see, guys, and lastly, I'm going to touch upon another point. Says, and wait, 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 wait. Let me read a hadith. Let me read a hadith. And I'm going to finish Let me read her hadith. Go on, then. You'll finish the Hadith about number number how one, Muhammad hit Aisha. The Prophet, peace be upon him, told us that when you strike, when you hit anyone, it's to strike their slaves. You have to free them. Now, let me get this right. But not your wife, then, because Muhammad hit his wife. One second. I have proof. I'm about to read it. You are not allowed to strike them, but you're allowed to rape them. Wait, you can you can hit women if you fear rebellion. If you fear it, you can hit them. So you can have slaves now in Islam. Hey, he just admitted it. You can have sex slaves in Islam. How many sex slaves can you have in Islam? How many sex slaves can you have in Islam? Have in Islam? Him and his wife, as you can see, shouting. No, it's the abhominant. He cannot address my argument. He has to insult. My friend, my friend, you need to learn Islam because <laughs> he doesn't know Islam. Islam. He doesn't know the Quran, the Sunnah, he doesn't know any of it. Let me read, I, let me read it. What? In her heaven, they're going to play piano. Her husband's going to play piano. Oh, are they? Are they? Well, in your heaven, there's going to be rivers of wine and there's going to be horries. That's all you need. That's all you need. All you need. That's all you need. Rivers of wine and horries. Disgusting. Disgusting. Ali Dawa, wait. Let me read the Hadith, Ali Dawa. With that voice, if I was married to you, I'd divorce you. Oh, wait, wait. Ah, no. This is what men do to women, guys. This is what the Islamic Dawa team talk to women. Oh, bye-bye, guys. Bye-bye. Ali Dawa, do you want to hear me read the Hadith? When Muhammad hits Aisha? Right, let me read the Hadith, guys, because he ain't going to read it to you. Right, this is Sunan Sunan Nasai. Conversation is over. Three, nine, six, four. Let's read it very clearly. Muhammad, he goes out because he sees um, he sees Aisha leaving his house in the middle of the night. So he follows her and he he follows Aisha and then um, Aisha then rushes back and Muhammad is there and he says, "Are you the shape that I saw?" And she says, "Yes." It then says, "He gave me a shove in the chest no that hurt me." I just said that my oh really? But it hurt her though. So that thing he said about women not needing to feel pain was a complete load of nonsense. What she was bruised. What a load of nonsense. Mohammed hit Aisha. Mohammed caused her pain. End of, ladies and gentlemen. That's why he can't talk about the Quran. That's why he can't talk about the Sunnah. He has no choice. No choice. I just read it, my friends. I just read it. I can tell you the verse, my friends. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Do I tell you the verse? It's Sunan Nasai 3964. It's grade is Sahi. The grade is Sahi. Can I ask you something? Yeah. You don't you repeat the same thing with us with Habi. I know. If your wife has done something, this is so smart. Uh, what are you witness to that? In, in Islam, you have the Sunnah, which is the authentic yeah. narrations of the Prophet. Sunan and Nasai 3964 is grade Sahih. Yeah. Okay, so Muhammad shoved her and caused her pain.